Hello and welcome and thank you very much for joining me. Today we will be playing part 3 of Colac. And so far it's, it's been quite a, a mysterious, uh, immersive game and it's, uh, it is one of them that kind of keep you thinking what the hell is going on, which is quite good. And I did say I would start the part from where I was before, uh, when the forest was on fire. So uh, I believe this is coming up to the part. I had just tried to walk through and get to this point and then a fire person ran past me and I died what, because I, I wasn't running so yes I'm not I'm not going all the way back there because my last save point was a long long way away so this time we won't be stupid and we won't run into the fire well gassy smoke stuff <laughs> this cross bats is running through a marathon all these people's animations are all the same. So this is all I, I can imagine. This is the skiers who were running from a thick fog. The monster was chasing them. Or alien. Or ghost. Who knows? Nobody does. So we'll find out at the end of this, probably. I don't want to turn around and I'm going to run out of sprint. Uh, I don't want to turn around because I know the little... Little Alion is behind me somewhere. Ah! Where am I? Oh shit, I can hear noises in my earlobes. Oh, there's a big tree. What's the big tree for? Oh dear, oh dear. When I first started playing this, I was a bit unsure whether I would actually put this on because it was such... There's very limited things you can get on here, so it is more of just a walkthrough of the game. But I'm sure the story will start to unravel, and that's when it'll probably get good. Like, it's environmentally beautiful. Like, it's very nice. What's that over there? Sorry, I swear I just saw some fire. Let's ignore that. Let's pick up this knot. For a very long time, I could not come across any trail. The tracks came and went as if someone was playing with me, as if the victims were moving. And as soon as I was almost sure I had seen something and I would find something new behind the next tree, the trail suddenly went cold. I had no idea what was going on. Finally, I reached a small meadow. There, I found a bound journal, as if someone left it there on purpose. The journal belonged to the members of the expedition. They wrote down their thoughts and observations. Uh, note. There were also some obscure entries, probably taken down in the dark, concerning the situation they were in. This could shed some new light on the case. I am attaching the journal to this report. <clears throat> we have to control the conduct of the investigation, and at a certain point stop the information flow. The facts concerning the incident cannot be made public in any way, shape or form. How wonderful. Uh... Oh shit. Oh, he's right there! Why is he behind me? Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Oh god, it's so loud. It's pooping me up a bit. Where has he gone? Where has he gone? There was, there was something on those rocks. I need to go back and get them. But I, I don't want that fucking creature to get me. We still don't even know what it is yet. Alright, so we have some numbers. But I am aware that now I see these numbers, I don't need to remember them because they save on your map. Uh, look on the left hand side, you'll see it just above the compass, there's a few crossed out ones, so there's a few locations. Ah! Run! Oh god, he's there. He's there, but he's not reacting to me. Run, 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 gingerbread man. Oh, there's loads of them. There's not just one. There's one right there as well. Oh, God. Ah, oh, God, there's one right in front of me. There's a nest of these little buggers. Which way do I go without getting killed? Because these loading screens are insane. That is probably a downfall in this game. The, the loading screens are appallingly long. Yes, I understand the environment's huge, but sort it out, man. So there was a fire, and there's some redness down, down below. 
Oh, the creepy vibes. There's a fire over there in the distance. Ah, oh, there's something near me. Oh, God, there's something near me. I heard a grunt in my ear. Oh, there's another Gruntosaurus Rex over here. And I'm running out of stamina. Ah, damn. Damn. Music, help me. Is it still behind me? No. Good. Fuck. <clears throat> They're just appearing out of nowhere. Maybe that's a hot spot of where, where things started going on. I think there's another little lady on over there. Hello. Am I back at the camp? Oh yes, I'm back at the camp, as it were. So, I am here. Am I? Is that where I am? So, I need to try to figure out a way. Um, no, I can't. I have no clue where the hell I am. What is this little uh, atrociousness? It almost looks like a face. Do you not agree? Oh, it is a face. Oh shit, 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 shit. There's something near me. I feel like there's something in these woods that I need to investigate. But it could be I could be very wrong. Let's pull up my map. Let's see what we got. So I feel like I'm in that little burn crap. Yes, on the right hand side there. Yes. Is there anyone there? Oh god damn it. Oh shit, there's one coming towards me. Fuck off! Go away, bum monster. It, it it looks like an alien with wings or a demon. I'm still very unsure on how I feel about this game. Yes, of course it's scary. Yes, of course it's got stuff in it. But it's it's very slow to get to the damn point. Maybe that's my bad, I don't know. Can I not just use these damn skis and walk around like a weird man? And go down hills like super fast. Never really been skiing myself, but uh, I guess this is uh, a video on how to shit your pants, really. I guess it were. Oh, we found another nautical. Hello. Press X. Doctor, we have never seen such a thing. The activity was off the scale, energy readings, it was just beyond any reason. I remember, Doctor, something. He said he had heard singing. He saw angels appearing from the light. It was clear to us that it was dangerous to say it, to stay too close to the ab anomaly for too long. But we had to conduct more tests. Therefore, we decided to use the prisoners. That is why we created Section 22. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, it, it's starting to sound like an experimental thing are these someone let them in are they dark angels you know demons I would say are very similar to these sort of things like Imposaurus Rexes okay so we're back here with the river but it did say there was a trail behind the river is there a way I can get behind that goddamn river all right so this could be the right hand side path that I was talking about God damn it. It doesn't really lead to anywhere. I don't want to step in that frozen little lake. And because there's not really an obvious onset to where paths are as well, so it is like... Where the hell am I? Am I just going to keep working around like trying to figure out where I'm going? I feel like I may have been up here at some point. So that's got to be the bit that goes. I've just gone up there. I've gone up there. So I need to turn around. I don't know where I am. But. These could be caves. Yes, I have a feeling they could be caves. Curbless. Ooh. What is this? This is marvelous. so damn snowy and all you can hear when you're walking through the deep thing is a crunching of snow oh I love that sound because we don't get a lot of snow over here in England in the 
you of the okay. You know, we, we don't get much over here. Especially our last winter, it was really warm and it's crap. And I always wanted to go visit somewhere like Alaska and see what it was like. You know? See what I'd be like to live in a life of snowland. Christ, where the hell am I? I can hear some horns. Alright, I'm gonna say my map reading probably lost me. Where the shungleberries am I? There's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of creaking and cracking. Oh dear, something's happening. My guy's going crooked. Oh god, you've got the stamina of a dead cat. Come on, man. It, it, the, the game wouldn't have been so bad if you had like unlimited sprint or at least could run for about a minute at a time and only have to rest for about five seconds. But only been able to run this far and then he gets poopy knackered with such a huge map that is a frustrating piece of work. This guy must have a belly on him. So I'll try to find my way through this path. Oh Christ, these sounds are horrible. Is it a horn or something? I don't know. Yep, fat guy. It must be a fat guy, he's already out of breath. Come on, man. So, if... I'm, I'm sort of like in 50, 40 area on the map. All right, I don't know which one you read first. Top to... So, I should go... I need to go anywhere that kind of leads me straight forward and a bit right. So, I'll try this way. Because I've been that way before. I'm going to hear some jingly bells. Santa? Oh, I thought that was a cave, but I was very wrong. Oh god, I can't even go this way. Yes, I can go up here, but it's a bit of a tough one. I don't think I need to. For God's sake. For God's sake. For God's sake. It's so for, for God's sake, man. Let's have a look at how pretty it is. Uh, yeah, it's not great. So what can we see? We got the moon. And we got trees. Oh shit. God damn it. He's here. He's still behind me. Still oh god, he's chasing me. Oh, the running so Fucking trees! Shit, that hurt. That that did hurt quite a bit. Right, I'll get back to somewhere where we got some progress. So uh, I can hear some flappy flappy. I've gone back to the lake, um, just by the south side of the lake near the tree, and I found some more numbers. Uh, there's there's an alien over there, or a ghost. I don't know. He's over there. But they, they, they have wings. They, they must be demons. They can't be aliens. So there's some flapping around here, and it's winding me up because I can't seem to figure out where this flappy flap flap is going. Is it strapped to a tree? There's this goddamn flapping. I have an inkling. I will go back through the car, and then I will veer up. I try anyway. There was, there's so many little nooks and crannies that aren't on the map. Maybe they are, but it, it's a very difficult map to try and read. You understand what I'm saying? I got a feeling it could be up here. Oh shit! It's just a damn tree. It's flapping so fucking furiously. Where is this flappy flappy? How was that? What was that? It's gotta be here. Yes. I found the flappy flappy. Now stop 
Stop doing that. We slept in something you could call a hotel. Two persons per bed. We woke up at 9 a.m. It was actually quite comfortable, although it was a little cold because we forgot to close the window vent. We ate breakfast, packed our things, and at 11 a.m. we were ready to go. We set off in the back of a truck, so it was a bit cold. During the ride, we talked about absolutely everything we could think of. On the spot, we spoke with some local workers. I remembered one in particular. He had a red beard. Friends called him Beardman. We cooked and ate dinner, and now we are resting. Half of the group is looking at some maps, the rest are sleeping. I started handling the equipment and writing. It is still a bit too cold. My hands are shaking, but finally my thoughts are much brighter than yesterday. No creepiness in them whatsoever. There's a long way ahead of us, but the only thing I can feel is excitement. It seems as if the forest is calling us. That beautiful, magical, magical dark, forest. dark forest. Oh, well, that's that's bloody wonderful. Oh, shit. Shit off. Shit off. Is that you? God. Yeah, shit house. Yeah, yeah. I love that guy. Right, so we're back at the tree. I guess you guys can identify where we are. We're on the right-hand side, almost on the edge of the map. So we've gone up there. I'll go down, go round, and then straight on should lead me to where I was trying to head before. So let's get there now. through the carve. So yeah, there, there's a set of numbers I found as I was looking for certain things. And then I started hearing the flappy flappy. If this is going to be a game, I have to continuously find all these little flappy notes. It will kind of be a very hard game. Because we're in the middle of nowhere. These things are set out in completely obscure places. Almost impossible to find. So I'm going to keep as far far to the right as I can to try to stay near the path. God damn it, I'm out of the way. Oh, there seems to be a dotum. Hello, little dotum face. How are you? Yeah. Can you help me? Can you point me in the di right direction? Dum 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 Alright, I'm on the path. Thank you. Thank you, totem pole. Don't know why you'd be up there. Oh, there's more flappy flapping ass. Fucking hate flappies. Don't be down there. I'm up here. Oh, there's some more totem bones. Oh shit. So there's a cobbler. I'll go back to that. I just want to go get this flappy flappy. Please don't be any aliens around. Oh, ah, there it is. What? Be behind me, you little fools. Great. The weather is pretty good. We have the wind at our back. We arranged with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m., we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. In total darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all, it all started. Oh God. Oh God. It all started. What started? So I'll go through the cave. I'll see where it is. So I, I roughly know where I am on the map. God damn. I hate that I have to stop. So. I am heading to where I see all those little dots on the top. Top right. Not the very top. Just uh. It's hard to describe. Just very. Not very south. But south. South. East. So, so we've got to 
uh, blow the throw. Oh, it's uh, a lovely little uh, coconut. I'm, I'm not going to go down the river. Because I may fall in. And that's the last thing I need is to be cleaning and drying my socks. Wow. And I feel like this is the right... Whoa. What's that? A lot of scribbles. Beautiful. That's probably some ancient talkaging. That's a text message. They just leave it there and uh, people come and check it occasionally. Oh, and that one says Urugut. Which means, uh, hello. What's that? Why, why is there blackness? Why is there blackness? Oh god. I found a cave. I found a carvel. Alright, we got another bit of story. Anomalies do not. When almost 20 years ago I wrote about the strange anomaly occurring in the city as I remember reporting. I'll let you read this one, guys, because this one will take me quite a while. So if you would like to pause, please let me know if you still can't see it. You know, I'll try work on it. May report a strange or so somebody dangerous phenomenon. It's basically just some guy talking about that things don't exist and that everything's okay. That people are just losing their minds. This is a lovely little girl. It's very small, eh? I wouldn't find myself making a camp there. It's a bit too wet, as it were. Where shall we go? <laughs> what was that scream? I heard a scream. I heard a scream! I think I'll end this one here. We got enough information. Uh, I'll try cut cut it down a bit so we got a nice little short video. All right, thank you very much for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe, and take care.